Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to connect MySQL with Oracle SQL Developer. So add here, oh, this is MySQL Workbench and here this is Oracle SQL Developer. So these tools I'm going to connect. So add here, if you go to Tools tab and here Preference and here Database and here Third Party ZDBC Driver. So add here, we need to download and install ZDBC Driver. So I don't have, so first we need to download. So in Google, write MySQL connector. Go to first uh, site, MySQL connector, mysql.com. So let's uh, double click. Now here after the next is here you can find uh, different to uh, develop to by MySQL. So we need to uh, install zdbc driver so click on this download button and here you need to specify which operating system you are going to use so i'm going to, i'm using at your windows operating system so i'm going to select platform independent now here i highly recommend you you should or download at here this or tar archive and click on download button after that you can easily extract that file so at here or you can select this option also but i recommend you you should use this one so this file that i already downloaded so here i already extracted so this is you can find this or zor file now here after the next is go to tools tab and here preference and here database next third party zdbc driver click on add entry and here or desktop and your project so add here we need to specify you can use anyone so i'm going to use this option 5.8 bin and uh, here after click on ok now click on plus so if i click on plus here you can see oracle access and here this is my square tab it's added now here keep the connection name so giving add here test db and here about username password so let's go to mysql workbench so at here localhost this is at here port root is the user now here let's give the user root password so whatever the password of root you should give at this place now here this all database inside there now here after the same thing give the username and here password and uh, here this is optional connection name and here after click on choose database so automatically database it's come there so i'm going to use Sakila. now here click on test it's success now click on connect so and here test debits uh, come this place now click on plus here you can see all the database so Sakila, inside Sakila there are so many tables inside there. So if you want to see the record of any, so let's click on open. So it's a opening. And what were the contents inside my SQL? Like uh, table views, synonyms, many more things. It's all comes inside Oracle SQL developer. So it's a very easy. So it's all data inside category table. So this is the way we can connect MySQL with Oracle SQL Developer. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.